Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 7 of Angular e-commerce website. So in this part, we will be storing this data in the local storage and after storing this data in the local storage, I have to display this name into that last page. For example, if I type abc at the rate gmail.com and if I type the name as Raj and mobile number some dummy and address like Pune and when I order, I have to show the Raj name here. So to do this first I have to store the data in the local storage. So let me go to my VS code first and let me go to my card component.ts. So this is our function where we submit the data. Okay. So let me use a function local storage local local storage dot set item and that item will be ecom data and we have to stringify the data using json dot stringify and we have to stringify this value because only I want the name so let me copy this I don't want full uh, so I'll copy this and paste it here and dot name. So this command says us to store the uh, data in the local storage. So it is saying us setting the data in the local storage in the name of ecom data and this value will be stored. So first let me show you how the data is been stored in that local storage. So if I am adding the data to this card and I am clicking here, let me inspect and show you now. So I have to go inside the application because data will be stored here. So click on the checkout. Mm. Okay. No issues. Uh, some dummy mobile number so, okay. when I click on order see you can see Ritesh is stored in the local storage so this data I have to use now so now it's storing the data in the local storage this is the point you got so let me go to my VS code again so I'll go to my order comp order page company.ts okay uh, I'll be writing here getting item from local storage okay and below I'll come um, so uh, let me store in the variable let I'll use let local data equals to local storage uh, wait i have to uh, keep inside this let me cut this okay uh, okay local storage dot get so we are getting this uh, value get item and it was ecom data so we are getting his name uh, any name we are uh, that we are giving after that i have to create a variable that is user data public user data it will be dot type any only let me come below and store this in the user data this dot user data uh, equals to local data So let me create another variable uh, that is username public username of type n. Okay. Uh, let me come below. This dot user uh, username it is username equals to json dot 
pass this dot user data so using interpolation you can see the user data so as it is string in the by default now we are making it has javascript object using json dot parse so let me go to my html uh, so here i require a h1 tag above so let me take a h1 tag uh, so we will interpolate username first letter i need a capital always so i'll use title case so let me give some css for this inline css style text align uh, it will be center color let it be crimson so here curler let it be crimson okay here margin left i'll make 45 45 pixel uh, here let me make 70 pixel okay seems good so here top i'll decrease uh, i'll go to css uh, let me make it as 42 and let me check now so another thing i have to do uh, when we go to the main page i have to use a remove item so that i'll use when i go to the main page again uh, let me go to the main page that is not order product view component.ts local storage data local storage dot remove item and it was echo mm, let me see why i am getting error okay below i have to use and let me cut it i have to use it here and that is ecom data and let me save okay now let me try i'm adding data to the cart ish at gmail.com name let me give jish mobile number let me give address let me give third and when i order you can see the username is coming perfectly because of this local storage and when we come to main page uh, this local storage data should disappear you can see local storage data gets automatically empty when we come to the main page So when I click on this delete, uh, this uh, I have to replace. I have to make some uh, different one. One image I have, that image I'll be using. So I have pasted it here link. I'll be giving in a description. Uh, so this image I'll be using there. So this is the image which we are going to use now. Uh, so let me go to my code again. And that is inside the cart page HTML. So let me come below. Okay. Here I'll be using that. Uh, below center uh, let me use a image tag img uh, src equals to uh, that link and i'll close this image tag inline css style equals to 
width 250 pixel. So let me go to my uh, CSS, this card page component.css. Uh, here, uh, top uh, 53 I'll make. 53. And I have saved. Let me check now. Okay, it's looking fine now. So thank you. Please do like and subscribe.